everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and we are going to do another Christmas craft. I did not think of this craft. This goes back to the Carol Duvall show, if some of you may have watched that on HGTV a long time ago. And they are little pasta angels. And I made these when my niece and nephew were little. I made them do it with me, and they loved it. And I thought I would bring it back and share it. I'm sure there's probably tons of versions on the internet. I haven't looked, but I'm sure they're out there. They always are. So let's do this. I'm working on parchment paper just so that any glue that might drip might would peel off. And I need these different types of pastas. And this is the farfalle. This is the, no, I can't remember. Rigatoni maybe? I have a dried lima bean. I have macaroni elbow things, and then I also have alphabet noodles. So that's really all we need to create the angel. And I'm going to show you step by step. I'm using this clear tacky glue. You could use regular tacky glue. You could use any glue that dries clear. I am going to just use a skewer stick to help kind of put it on there a little bit neater. So I'm just going to this on here like this put a glob on and you want it to be closer to the top and let that kind of stick there and then the next thing you're going to want to do is put some on the dried lima bean Just kind of hold it in place let it dry once they've dried you can put the arms on and the arms are going to be these little macaroni elbows and I'm going to use some hot glue just to kind of make it a little bit faster for this but again if you're working with kids you could just use a regular tacky glue or something a little bit fast drying and you just want to put them on like this and there you go now she's got her arms and all she needs is a little bit of hair and all I'm going to do is put some of the hot glue and again you would just use different glue I'm going to put it on the front and the back, or on the sides and the back a little bit. And then I'm going to just dip it right into the alphabet noodles. And there she is. I have a black, fine point black Sharpie marker, and I am going to just kind of draw on there her eyes like they're closed, which are just a couple of U's. And then I'm going to put some eyelashes on there, and then just a circle colored in. Or the mouth and there's your angel but now that we have these finished what are we going to do with them and you can leave them the way they are because they're adorable or we can kind of dress them up a little bit and I'll start with this one and I'm using these folk art gems and sparkles and I, I don't know if they even still make these but it's kind of a clear Kind of, I guess it's not really paint, but it's kind of paint. And I'm just going to take actually a little bit of both and just paint it right on there. This gives it a little sparkle, but you still see the original color. Now here's a little helpful tip. If you take like a piece of styrofoam, like scrap styrofoam, and you can take your skewer sticks or whatever you want to use, poke it in there, and then you could put these right on here and they won't fall over while they're drying and if you're worried they're going to stick this styrofoam then go ahead and put a piece of parchment paper under it also this next one i didn't even put a face on her because this one i'm going to make just plain gold all over you may or may not need two coats and this next one we're going to fancy up with these bugle beads i have some silver and gold bugle beads I'm going to take some of my glue. With a skewer stick, I'm going to take some and I'm going to just smear it on there. And we're going to fancy up her dress. And I'm going to kind of just put them on there. I'm not going to think too much of the placement or the coloring or any of that. I'm just going to keep putting them on there. Now the remaining two I'm going to glitter. And I'm going to kind of glitter them in two different ways, kind of. 
I'm going to use some plain white glue and I have this light icy blue glitter from Martha Stewart and it's blue sapphire and I am going to take my brush I'll put some glue on there and then I'm going to sprinkle the glue right on there and I want to actually carry this down the arm part of the way and there it is with her glitter dress and now you can kind of set it aside to dry and then we'll move on to the wings the second angel that I'm going to glitter I'm going to do the same way but I have this mix of glitter that kind of has over the years kind of mixed with other stuff so it's kind of a contaminated glitter container so I'm going to just use it I'm going to stir it around a little bit it's got fine glitter in there it's got chunky glitter so we're going to do that and just see how it looks I'm going to do it the very same way. I'm going to use the white glue, put it on there, and then I'm going to sprinkle it right on. For the wings, we're going to go with a traditional white. So here's my merry little band of angels. And let's start with this one, which was just plain. I didn't put anything on this one, and I like it that way. Then I went with a little bit of glitter on there and just to give it a little bit of a shimmer but still keep with that natural look then I went for really easy and did just gold two coats of just plain gold acrylic paint that gives a kind of a modern silhouette kind of a thing you could have gone silver and then we have this one which was all of my leftover glitter that I keep and put it on there she's got a party dress on it looks like and then I did the white fine glitter on the back and then I have this one where I did a little bit of a chunkier white glitter on there and I have the silver and gold bugle beads then there's this one where I did a fine blue glitter on the dress and then I did a chunkier silver glitter on the back on the wings so there they are so let me know which one you like the best hope you like them hope you give them a try they're easy they're fun they're festive and happy crafting. We'll see you next time and happy holidays everyone. Thank you for watching. It just occurred to me I didn't tell you how to attach these. You can add these to different things. You can put it in a flower arrangement, put it on, they can slide right onto a stick or something. And what my mom did was she had a little artificial tree where you could bend the the arms up a little bit and she bent like the end of the arms up and it was a little miniature tree and she decorated it with just these angels and she bent the end up and she stuck it right on there otherwise when you're gluing the wings on you just take a piece of fishing line or wire you could do wire and put it in there between the body and the wings so you put it in between there and let the glue dry and then you have a hanger built right in there. I didn't do that because I was going to use it in a different way, but that's how it works. You can do it that way or not do it and just stick it on something like, like the end of a Christmas tree. So thanks for watching guys.